All right, so here's the deal. I really love Tetris and I could talk about it for probably two hours, but we can't do that because we gotta make the videos a little bit shorter. So every single time I catch myself getting into a tangent or a rant about some Tetris, we got this little bit of Taco Bell hot sauce right here and I'm just gonna shove it down my throat. So there we go. That's where we're going. Um, Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome back to your everyday nerd, the B-Sides editions. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. And all the B-Sides will take a look at literally anything that I want to, just in shorter, unsponsored episodes. Tetris 99. It's such a good game. I have spent like 40 hours in it already. I've played like 700 games and I've won like eight games. So like... My ratio is not doing too well there. Tetris is a game that I really enjoyed. Ever since I was a kid, I've played this game on and on again. Back in like high school, I got back into it a good bit. And I was like, yo, let me see if I can get 100,000 points. And then I got there. And then when it came into college, I started seeing the CTWC, which is the classic Tetris World Championships. This is already a rant. We're already getting that first hot sauce packet in there. Anyways. CTWC got really into it was like yo I could do that and I started practicing the game and now I, I play Tetris like every single day and it's kind of an addiction so so here we are because Tetris 99 this is more addictive than the regular NES Tetris all right we started with mild I'm used to mild hot sauce I like hot stuff I'm used to I'm used to this on my burritos Oh, hot sauce on its own is not good though. So it's 2019 now and everybody is making a battle royale for some reason. We had Fortnite, we had Minecraft uh, story mode. That's battle royale, right? And now we have Tetris 99, the, the best battle royale of, of the future. You play against 99 other players as you battle your way to victory by playing as best as you can in Tetris. It, it, it's really that simple. You just need to stack up blocks, get a lot of Tetrises, get a lot of T-spins, hurry up as fast as you can, and uh, eventually you'll, you'll win a game or two. Here's my issue though. I'm above average when it comes to this game. I suck in like literally every other game I ever played, but for Tetris, I'm above average. What that means is I get in the top five like 98% of the time, and then I lose at like second place, like 80% of the time. It's fun. It's, <laughs> I want to cry. Now, a lot of people may be thinking, how can you make a Tetris Battle Royale game? If you haven't played the game, it, it's pretty simple. There's the main act of playing Tetris, which is like any other version of Tetris, you want to play as well, as consistently, and as fast as you can. Rack up Tetrises, rack up T-spins, rack up as many points as you can, because when you rack up points, you are then targeting other players and sending garbage to them. Garbage is extra lines of blocks that end up getting them closer to the top, so they can tap out and you can get that victory royale. You can target players in four different ways. KOs, which means that another player is really close to the top. Badges, which means that another player is killing a lot of other players. There's attackers, which means any player that's attacking you, that's right, you too can be attacked. It's, it makes sense, it's pretty fair. And then there's random, which means that you can attack just any random combination of other players. It's this system of targeting along with really good Tetris play that makes it such an engaging game. It, it, it's why I've been playing a lot more of this and a lot less of NES Tetris as much as I wanna get really good at that and get a really high score and go to the CTWCs and eventually try to at least, at least place. I mean, there's a lot of competition. Talking too much, fire. Get ready for the fire. I'm talking too much about NES Tetris and I'm like trying to stay on topic with this. All right, ah! Oh! I don't get the fire hot sauce that often. Not that I can't handle the spay. I'm not not a big fan of that taste. Whew. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to eat the, the Diablo. The reason that Tetris 99 is such 
The reason that Tetris 99 is such an engaging game is because it balances the really high level of Tetris along with this targeting system. And so there, there's actually extra elements of RNG put in place to where even if you suck at Tetris, there's still a chance that you could win. And even if you're really good at Tetris, there's still a chance that you could lose. At any moment in time, you could be targeted by 12 other players and it doesn't matter how well you play, you just kind of get screwed. If you play too slowly, oftentimes garbage will come too quickly and you can get screwed. If you play too quickly, you could accidentally miss drop a piece and that could end up screwing up your entire board. You get some garbage because you're too high up and then you screwed again. And oftentimes that is when you're going to lose is when you're miss dropping pieces. It just so turns out the best way to win a game of Tetris 99 is to not miss drop. Play consistently, get Tetrises, and play fast. It, it, it's really, <laughs> it's really that simple. It, it takes the skills of an NES classic Tetris player, where they're trying to play consistently, and the skills of a modern day Tetris player, where you're trying to play fast, along with balancing the targeting system to win a game. Cool. I can. That hot sauce is making me burp. Now, obviously, I love this game. I have a certain bias towards Tetris. If you love Tetris, you're going to love Tetris 99. If you like playing Tetris, you're probably going to like playing Tetris 99. The best part about it is that it's free. Well, if you have the Nintendo Switch online service, which chances are, if you have a Switch, you probably have the online service, so you can play Smash and Splatoon. Either way, Tetris 99 is free on there. And that's something that I really liked when they showed it at the Nintendo Direct. And they were like, yo, you can go play this game right now. I was like, all right, well, I guess we're going to grab the Switch. Go play some more Tetris. Like, you already know. You already know what it is. At the end of the day, I obviously recommend Tetris 99 to anybody who hasn't played it yet. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm really excited to see how the community of it is going to grow. And I'm hoping... To end up getting more game modes and stuff in the future because that'd be really dope. I'd also would love to see like an NES classic Tetris playable on the Switch. I'm tired of using the emulator. I need, I need to go out and get an actual NES because that way I can practice for real in there, try to get better than my like 450k score, and damn it. I don't want to do it. No, mommy, don't make me. You don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. That's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. For whatever reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on Tetris 99 are. How many wins have you gotten? I've gotten eight. I should be doing better than that. Oh, that's that's... Not a good taste. Ah, that's not good. I remember why I only eat the buy a lot of sauce talking about. I don't like the taste of that at all. Anyways, I'll see you next time. You guys have a great day. Goodbye.